Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. So I um, just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, sharing an antenna with multiple radios uh, because there's um, a lot of questions that come to this. When you have one and one radio, but you have only one antenna, there is, of course, something that there, there, you know, you want you want to have both radios running in order to sometimes just compare reception or or just tune two different frequencies. And um, this is the main reason I got this for uh, first purpose of testing two radios together so that they have the exact same antenna and and the exact same signal. Um, <clears throat> but there's multiple ways to do it. And I'll say um, out of the box here that I've got this Streetsburg Engineering box, which is a multi-coupler, and I like it, but yes, um, it is very expensive. Um, it is very high quality grade, but I don't think most people need something like this. Um, I did it because I like the fact that it's active. And so my outputs are all the same and they're really, really well isolated. And by the way, they have a model that is cheaper that isn't uh, actually an active one. It's a passive multi-coupler that also isolates the ports. Now, here's the thing about sharing an antenna. You know what? For a lot of people, just, you know, having some kind of Y adapter that just splits. For a lot of people, it's enough. It depends on the radios you use, actually. I, for a long time, I did that. For a long time, I would share an antenna with two radios or three radios, and I would actually use either alligator clips and a clip the uh, telescopic antenna, or I would just put two or three, you know, connectors and put the radios together. It kind of works, and for some, it might just be the solution is cheap, and for most people, it just does. it just works, and that's fine. But there are times when you need a little more, and what is a little more? What you want is mostly that the outputs are isolated from each other. This is the feature you want. So if you are looking for any type of antenna splitter for multiple radios on the same antenna, the main factor to look at is that each port is isolated. That ensures that there's no interaction between radios. Over time, when I've tested different Texan receivers, St. Gian, and all of that together, I did notice that there are radios that you can just split, no difference. And there are radios that when you plug them in, you notice that there's less reception on the other. There is an interaction happening. Something's not perfect. So that's when you look for something like this that has uh, isolated ports. And like I said, you have much cheaper models that exist. And I know some of you use cheaper models that work well. They're passive. Passive means there's no amplification. There's no electronics, really. There's mostly... Uh, there's there's electronics, but you know they're not. There won't be any power on it. It's the signal just goes in and is divided into multiple ports. Um, simply nothing else. There's no there's no filtering. There's no um, you know processing of the signal in any way. Amplification of and the signal in any way. And these are much cheaper and work very well, honestly. Um, I think the two things to look at is mostly the uh, frequency coverage of the splitter and then the uh, fact that they are um, isolated. The isolation will prevent interaction between radios. It will also prevent, if one radio is noisy, to inject interference to other radios. In one particular case, it's important because I saw, I saw one comment where someone wants to test is portable on a long wire and an SDR. This is where an isolated um, antenna splitter is very important. There's a high chance that your SDR will induce electronic noise to the signal if you just split it with a portable without having ports that are isolated. So that's why, depending on the radios, you might want that. 
And, you know, um, you don't have to pay the price of this thing to have uh, a good antenna splitter, honestly. And uh, for those that are, you know, into electronics, you can even build some. There are some uh, splitters that are, uh, you have the circuits that you can just build yourself. But um, I think the key word here is mostly frequency coverage and the fact that each port that goes to the radios are isolated from each other so that they don't interfere. But that said, you know, depending on the radios you have, <laughs> just splitting with a cheap Y or a cheap little Y connector sometimes just works and you don't have to really, you know, if you're not planning to test radios in a, uh, you know, important way or anything, um, if you're not planning to, to become a serious tester and, you know, Splitting with, a, splitting with just, you know, a, a little Y adapter can be just fine and work great. And it's a very cheap solution. So whatever your needs, there's something at your price point probably out there up to the very expensive multi-couplers, the active multi-couplers like this one. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.